and a very good morning to you. Welcome to this Friday edition of The Source. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for joining us today. I am Tiffany Bacon. Welcome to our reopening. The city is open officially today, and this is our first live broadcast in over a year. It feels great to be out here amongst the people out here at the Fresh Grocer. We are broadcasting live from the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. We are at 4160 Monument Road. If you feel like it, come on down. If you need to do some shopping and you want to get your membership, come on down and say hello to us. We are out here until 1 o'clock this afternoon. I'm Tiffany Bacon. Thank you so much for being here. A couple of quick shout-outs before we get deep into the show today. First and foremost, super producer, Miss Kayla J, back in the studio. Hey, Miss Kayla, how you living? Good morning. I'm living well. Yes, yes, yes. Isn't it amazing? We are actually out in, in, in public today. We are out amongst the people today. Yeah, y'all got that. <laughs> You are a hot mess. But you have something amazing happening later on this evening. As usual, you have your program. What can people look forward to hearing later on tonight? Oh, look forward to some some good people joining us. Some some music stuff is happening in Philly for Gospel Music Month, and we're going to talk about it. Y'all don't want to miss out on it. Awesome sauce. So, Miss Kayla J, tonight at midnight, make sure you tune in. Also, we have Eric Nixon on the scene, as well as Troy. So many folks from the WURD team is here. We are broadcasting live. We are kicking off our early bird membership, our four-word membership. Have you become a member? Are you a member? This is a great time to join us. And if you're tired of being inside your house, come on out. Put your mask on, though. I know that's like the indoor mask uh, mandate has been relaxed. But if you feel comfortable with your mask on, that is fine. Come on down here and join us. Sign up for membership for Word. You're going to hear throughout the program why it's so important to support stations like ours um, and to support ours. You will hear some testimonials throughout the show. We'll talk to people who have um, uh, who have who have bought into the station who have supported the station for years, who know the importance and the power of black media. You are also going to hear from some regular voices that you have heard. Some of our hosts will come by and share why it's important for them to be a part of our mission here at WURD. So if you are at home and you're like, yeah, I love y'all. I'm going to watch you on Facebook. Uh, I will listen to you on the radio. It is okay, too. You can join as well. Simply go to our website. You can find out more. Uh, you can join or renew your Sustaining Forward membership for a special price today of $75. Okay, that is today. Or if you just want to support the work that we're doing, there's now an option to become a digital forward member for as little as $5 a month. So you have options. Today is where you can sign up. We have some wonderful folks who can take your membership as well who would like to say hello to you. Again, we're in Fresh Grocer. So if it was already on your um, to-do list to do some shopping, Make this the place you come to do some shopping today and stop by our table and say hello. We would really, really love to hear from you. Again, we have a variety of options. You can do the $5 digital membership. $75 is the annual membership. That's a special for today. We have a membership option for $300 for your family. So that includes some swag for four individuals. Our swag is swagalicious. Please understand that. If you're walking around with word swag, you look fly and fresh to death. So that is an option for you today. Also, we have the VIP membership, which is $500. That includes swag for four individuals. And for folks who want to contribute a larger amount, you also receive the swag. So all of those are the options. We would love to hear from you as well. Our awesome listening audience, why do you tune into Word every day, every week? Why is this important for you? Are you already a member? We'd like to hear from you. You can also post on our Facebook page uh, and shout out to those who are watching us on YouTube live stream as well. Post 
and tell us why it is important for you to be a member of Word, why it is important for you to listen to us. What are the things that you love about what we offer? What are the things you think you would miss if we weren't here? Share that. This is the day of sharing. It is also the day of coming out of the house. (laughs) So if you have not made that a practice lately, totally understandable, take a chance. If you're vaxxed, great. If you feel comfortable, great. Come out here. Say hello. I would love to meet you. We have so many members of the Word team here today. We would all love to meet you. And you should see, I I wish we had the camera up and ready in like a few moments ago because when different members of the team started coming into the store, it was like a big hug, like at a family reunion because we literally have not seen each other in over a year. And depending on, you know, who you are and how you were working at the station, might have been longer than that. We might not have actually crossed paths in person in longer than just a year. So it's really a a wonderful, uh, warm family atmosphere that we have, and and it's just so much love. (laughs) So if you're feeling the love, come on down here, support us. We're going to hear from members. We're going to hear from advertisers. We're going to hear from a lot of people, and we definitely want to hear from you. So make sure you give us a call at the station. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to talk to some folks who are here in the store with us right now, some team members, some folks who support us to find out why word is so important it is the reopening of life the reopening of the city come on out a lot of the mandates have been relaxed if not all at this point so come on out share your life outside and join us here at the fresh grocer on monument road this is the friday edition of the source on wurd broadcasting live we'll be right back after this And welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It's the Friday edition of The Source here on WURD. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Tiffany Bacon. We are broadcasting live. It is our first live broadcast. I'm excited because I call it a gap year. You know, 2020 was a gap year. Everything had to shut down. Everything came to a halt. So we haven't been able to be out here with you. We haven't been able to see you in person. We haven't been able to do events. And today is the day that we are out for the first time in the community. And it feels so good. We are excited that we are doing our very special early bird four word membership drive. We are encouraging you to become a member of Word. Share your stories with us. We want to hear why Word is important. We want to know why you listen every day. I see the folks who are joining us on Facebook Live. Big shout out to Shalada. Big shout out to Roberta. Hello. Good morning and hugs to you as well. Uh, What's up? Casa Rusera. What's up, Norman? Thank you all so much. Please share with us um, your your thoughts about why word is important. Since today is the day that most, if not all of the restrictions, the COVID restrictions have been relaxed, people can go out, people can gather. Um, If you feel like you want to wear your mask, you can. A lot of the indoor uh, mask mandates have been relaxed. But this is the time where people can start to get back out there and see folks, spend time together. That's why we're out here at the Fresh Grocer today. We want to see you. We want to say thank you for supporting the station all this time. We want to see your face. Like, honest to God, I said this a few moments ago. It feels like a family reunion. We are seeing so many folks that we haven't seen from our own station. We've only seen them through, like, uh, Zoom chats and Microsoft Teams chats when we meet and things like that. But to see folks in person, it, it just means something, something really, really special. So we're appreciating the time together. But it is all about the membership today. It is all about supporting why we're here, the great content that we provide. Being in the community is extremely important to us. It is extremely important to us. And we want to continue to do that. And we can best do that with your support. So if you have not yet, think about the variety of membership types. This is our early four-word membership. You can renew your four-word membership 
for a very special price of $75. That we are offering today. Or if you just want to support the work we're doing, we have another option. $5 a month is the digital four word member. You can do that as well to show your support for the station, and we greatly appreciate it. Uh, the Early Bird Special runs through June 19th, so you have a little bit of time. If today doesn't work, that's all right. If today is not, uh, you know, it, it's, if it's not pay week or you want to think about it, that's quite all right. You can do that until June 19th. So please, please, please feel free to do that. You can also go to our website, WRDRadio.com. So I have some folks uh, who I'm going to speak with in just a moment. I want to introduce them in a second. I'm going to find out uh, some more information uh, on who's going to be joining us to tell you all why it's important for them to support Word and the work that they are doing out in the community as well. But I want to hear from you. Good morning, David. I see you here on our Facebook live stream. I see you. If you have a comment, if you're watching Facebook, or if you're watching our YouTube live and you want to share your story about why you listen to Word every day, about why you support us, please type it in the comments. I will read it on air. I will read it on air. So give me a few moments to do that. But we want to know why do you support us? Why do you listen every day? And we're excited to be here. So if you want to come and see us in person, come on down here. We're at the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road 4160. Monument Road. That is our current location. Please come down here. We will be here for the length of the, sh- of the show. We'll be here until 1 p.m. I greatly appreciate that. So I have a special guest uh, who will be joining us uh, right now, and, and she's going to talk about what she does and why she supports WURD. Joining us right now is Lisa Robinson. From My Independence at Home, she is the founder and CEO. This is a home care agency. Lisa, good morning and welcome. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Thank you for having me. No problem. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. Yes, in the rain. Uh, In the rain, but that's all right. (laughs) Rain and shine. Tell us a little bit about, a little bit more about My Independence at Home. So, yes, uh, again, thank you for having us. So my name is Lisa Robinson. I'm the founder and CEO of My Independence at Home. My Independence at Home is a home care agency. So we provide care for the elderly and adults with both physical and intellectual developmental disabilities. We provide services in the counties of Bucks, Chester, Delaware, Montgomery, and Philadelphia. We are uh, approaching eight years um, in business. Um, uh, we love what we do. It's, it's amazing to provide care for the community in which we live and also provide employment for people who live in this community. So it's something that I'm very, very proud of. We have a phenomenal team. Right now we're caring for um, almost 200 um, people in our community. So right now we are actually in people's homes helping them get bathed, um, get, get dressed, feeding them, you know, taking them to, to um, doctor's appointments. So it's just something that um, I'm very proud of. We have a phenomenal team. Uh, we have close to 270 employees wow. um, that are in, out in the community, and we have about 13 people in our office. Um, so it's just amazing work that we're doing. I'm also a stroke survivor, mm. uh, so I had home care myself. Uh, you know, came home with occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, was on a walker, had a cane. Wow. So I understand the importance of home care and also being able to have that care at home as opposed to being in a facility. Yeah, yeah. Uh, God bless you on your journey. Thank you. And so glad uh, for your healing and all of that. Would you say that is the reason why you decided to start this? It is. It is. That's that's part of it. And also, uh, my mother is a breast cancer survivor, so my sisters and I took care of her. Mm -hmm. And I also worked at a home care agency for a short time and just wanted to be able to start my own so I can impart my my beliefs and, you know, um, my business acumen to do things the way that I thought they should be done. Nice. Nice. How did you manage throughout the pandemic? The pandemic, um, you know, Prayerfully, we didn't do too bad. You know, a lot of businesses shut their doors and we didn't have to. You know, a lot of people decided to come out of nursing homes. As you know, a lot of people died in nursing homes, so people were coming home. So it actually, you know, it was a tragedy, you know, all of the deaths, but we were able to help a lot of people. So 
PPE was something, <laughs> you know, that was scarce. So mm -hmm. we were providing P free PPE to all of our caregivers and our, uh, the people that were taken care of. Um, and we also partnered with Oak Street Health to get them vaccinated. You know, they were a huge resource for us. So, you know, we managed. Everybody, I think, had to pivot in their own way because it really changed the way you did business. Yeah, talk about, um, you know, we're here because the city is officially reopened today. You know, everybody can go out and, and you can gather in various places, mm -hmm. um, in various capacities. But how has this whole process the mm -hmm. pandemic. How has it changed you personally and how you approach your business? Well, personally, it, it changed me in that we weren't able to, my sisters and I weren't able to hang out as much, you know. Um, you know, you weren't able to see, we weren't able to see our mother. We had to kind of stay away. My grandfather will be 97 this year. Wow. So, um, the, it changed in that way, you know, just the dynamics and how you can, um, just be with each other and also in terms of our business we are a very compassionate group of people so when one of our participants is in the hospital we go to the hospital mm -hmm. if someone passes away we go to the funeral so what was different for me is I think we attended about three or four funerals virtually which was weird mm -hmm. you know we're in their homes for years and then we're not even able to go and and pay our respects in person, you know, you're online. So it was it was weird and it, and it took some um, adjustment, but I'm hoping that eventually we'll be back to normal. Of course, I don't want to lose anybody. Yeah. You know, having people pass away is, is very difficult, but that was something we had to do. We definitely had to pivot. I love it, I love it. And, I, and thank you so much for sharing that. Tell us about why stations like Word are so important for you and why even uh, being a member of WORD is important to you? Um, WURD is phenomenal because, you know, it represents black excellence. And, you know, as a minority owned business, it's important to me to support someone who looks like me. Um, so it's, it's just an, a phenomenal station. You know, I've been on a few times. Um, so I, I just support WORD all the time. And if you're not a member, I say join. Yes. I, jo I would absolutely say join. <laughs> you know, WURD has supported my independence at home over over the years. We have Sandra Ali, who is phenomenal, who has, you know, referred people to us um, to care for. So it's just, it's just, I think it's just that reciprocal support um, that we get and we give. Fantastic. And tell us how folks can find you, reach out to you, should they need absolutely, your services. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. So again, my name is Lisa Robinson, founder and CEO of My Independence at Home. You can reach us at 215-921-2277. That's 215-921-2277. We're also looking for caregivers. Okay. We're looking for caregivers. So if you are a home health aide, a certified nursing assistant, or a personal care attendant, please give us a call, 215-921-2277. We have cases, we have cases. Our rates start, betwe start between um, 10 and um, $13, so we have great benefits, um, whole term life insurance. We're about to roll out our 401k plan. We have pay time off, sick days, mileage reimbursement, employee of the month, end of year bonuses. Yes. So please give us a call. We are <laughs> A great <laughs> home care agency. We work as a family. 215-921-2277. And thank you again for the opportunity to be on today. No problem. Thank you so much for coming by. We appreciate everything that you're doing. I wish you all the best. We wish you all the best. Thank and once you. again, the phone number for people to call if they need your services or if they need a job. Yes. My Independence <laughs> at Home. Quality home care with compassion. 215-921-2277. Fantastic. Thank you so much. All right, I thank appreciate you. you. Thank you. Bye. All right. Take it easy. We are broadcasting live. It's the Friday edition of The Source here at the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. If you can, please stop by. We would love to see you. We'd love to say hello. We'd love to say thank you so much for being a supporter. Uh, I think we have somebody who's a regular guest, uh, Zahara. I think we might have Miss Zahara McGill joining us. Is Zahara there on the phone? <laughs> Is Ms. Zahara McGill on the phone? I think she might be joining us. 
Okay. We're going to find out because she is someone who definitely supports what we are doing here at URD. Uh, she's been a guest on my show several times. She is phenomenal, and she knows the power of black media as well. Um, we're going to get a chance to speak with her. But we would also love to speak with you. Call the station and share some of your stories about how long you've been listening to us, about how you feel about the reopening. Things are like... Things are happening. Events are happening. Concerts are being booked. There's live theater in the park. I'll tell you about some of that, too. Um, There's a lot of events happening right now. The world is opening up, and so is your opportunity to become a member. So make sure you do that. We're going to take a break and come back with more conversation as we broadcast live from the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road right after this. (laughs) Welcome back to this Friday edition of The Source. Uh, I'm Tiffany Bacon. We are broadcasting live from the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. Thank you so much, so, so much for joining us. It is our first live broadcast in over a year. My goodness gracious. I'm I'm excited that we're back out here, and, and it feels great. It really feels great. If you want to, please come on out and join us. We love to hear from you. Uh, speaking of hearing things really quick, I'm hearing a, a feedback. So, sorry, uh, I sound a little weird because I'm hearing myself coming back into my ear a few seconds later. <laughs> so we're going to work that out. But we would love for you to come join us here on Monument Road. We will be here until 1 p.m. And this is all about our early forward membership You can sign up for a membership right now. Our table is set up not far from the broadcast table. We have special membership options, $75 to renew your membership. Um, Or if you would like to do our $5 per month, you can be a digital forward member for that membership amount. We are doing this early bird special through June 19th. My dear friend who is a supporter of Word and knows the power of black media, Miss Zahara McGill is joining us via the phone. Hey, Zahara. Hi, darling. How are you? I am breathing on schedule, you know, like I like to say. And I thank you <laughs> for calling um, and, and to share your thoughts about the, the power and the importance of black media. Yes, uh, it's just it's just a wonderful thing to support, and I just want to say I hope people uh, call in. I hope they come by where you are to sign up to become a member of WRD because you guys are one example of always getting the information out to the to the public, making sure we know what's going on. You have wonderful guests on your show, and it's just so important for us to support an entity such as WRD which is one of our entities that we have to support. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, go ahead. I'm listening, yes. darling. No, no, no. Go ahead. Please the, go. The, Please. the black media is just so important to support because we always get other uh, views and insights from other people. But it's the reason why it's so important for us to support the black media is because we get to hear exactly what's going on in our community from our point of view. It's so important. It's like, you know, like how they took out black history out of the schools because they didn't want the children to find out who we were, where we come from. It's the same thing with black media. If we do not listen to it, if we do not support it, we won't know what's going on in our community. We'll only find out from their perspective. Sometimes, right. you know, it might just, it could be the truth coming from us, you know, you know, instead of a distorted uh, story that's being told. So I'm a firm believer in the fact that black media is so important to support. Um, it gives out wonderful information and um we just have to be a group of people who just support exactly what you guys do, especially people like you and other people uh, that are always uh, out there on the front line, giving us information um, during the entire pandemic. You were just so wonderful, making sure that we got information. WRD was good at that, and other entities of black media was good at that. Um, during the uh, George Floyd uh, incident, what, what was going on? We found out it was actually nine minutes, not 826. Mm. So it's just mm. so important for us to just constantly support what the black media is doing. Yeah, yeah, and, and we appreciate your support uh, oh, all the yeah. time. We appreciate all that you do in the artistic community 
here in Philadelphia and, and letting folks know what's really going on, <laughs> number one, not yeah. sugarcoat and stuff, um, and creating great art. And we appreciate that for sure. Wow. Well, we and appreciate I appreciate WRD and all the black media across the board and the stories that you all uh, put out there and you let us hear it and you tell us the facts. I really enjoy all the correspondence, everyone, all the black media. And it, I think it's just so important for us to continuously to support you so that we can stay in tune with the facts and with the truth. It's so important that our community do that. Absolutely. Mama yeah. Z, as we like to call you, thank you so much. Tell the folks what you have coming up. Oh, uh, you're so welcome. Well, right now I'm working on two films, actually. Um, so I'm in... Uh, process of working on that right now and First World Theater, we, we will be opening up in October with our first live play. My wow. goodness. We That's are awesome. so excited to be back on stage live. So people look out for First World Theater Ensemble in our upcoming season. Yes. And tell yes. folks how they can find out more about First World so they can stay informed. Oh, sure. They can just go to www.firstworldtheater.org and find out what we're doing and you can find us on Facebook also and you can find us on Instagram at First World Theater. Fantastic. Mama Z, <laughs> thank you so much for taking a moment to, to share why you thought, uh, why you think it's important yeah. to have uh, WRD and the yeah. importance of black media. I thank you so much. Oh, and thank you for having me and good luck with it and I'm going to always support you in WRD. <laughs> I appreciate it and love you much. <laughs> love you, sis. Bye-bye. All right. Take All it right. easy. If you're just tuning in, we are broadcasting live this Friday edition of The Source. I'm Tiffany Bacon. We are here at the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. Is it in your plan today to do some shopping? Even if it's not, come on by. We are right here off Monument Road. I'll give you the exact address in a second. 4160 Monument Road. That is where we are located. We are just to the right of the entryway. As soon as you come in, we are over here on the right. Um, so come on, stop by the table, say hello. Our membership table is not far from the broadcast table, so you can sign up and join the four-word family. We're doing a very special early bird four-word membership. You can join. If you don't, uh, if you're not able to give $75 at this time, that is fine. We have the digital four-word membership for as little as $5 a month. You can go to W. U R D radio forward slash early bird for more information as well. But you can also come out here and sign up in person. I would love to see you. I have another guest who is joining me here at our first live broadcast in a year. He is an author and a supporter of W U R D. And he is joining us uh, at the table today. Again, you can always stop by the table we'd love to see you i mean keep emphasizing that because we want to see folks you know it's been over a year since we've been out here been able to touch the community so we're excited to be here so come on out join us fresh grocer monument road our special guest right now who is joining us at the table who is an author and a supporter of the station we have olanian adafume hello how Please. are you good and you are doing how i am breathing on schedule all right yeah. <laughs> thank you so much tell us a bit about your work okay i started a few years ago to work at the city of philadelphia school department a school district and i worked as a substitute teacher okay there you see some good things and you see some bad things unfortunately Many of the students are quite behind the norm for the Pennsylvania State. Mm -hmm. And I got rather frustrated. Then the virus came around and everyone was told, go home and don't come back until you're finished collecting unemployment conversation. Hmm. Anyway, I decided that I wanted to rent some space at Borden Poplar and have classes that focus only on mathematics. Okay. Especially basic mathematics, which is the middle school level sometimes high school level, and sometimes even earlier than that. And I offered to have students receive two-hour sessions at $30 per uh, session. And I hope that some parents and students who are frustrated with their low grades get the idea that they can actually change that 
to the up, the opposite side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, a lot of times in Philadelphia and other urban areas, having a B in math is like having a C mm-hmm. or a D compared to the suburban schools. Right. So I, I've had successful stories in the past from my own family members and others who I tutored. They usually learn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So tell me, you know, I've often heard, and I am one of those folks who always had an issue with math, but I've often heard people say, oh, yeah, math is my worst subject. It's, it's not my thing. Why do you think that is? Mathematics, like many sciences, is... Um, it's cumulative. What you learned in grade one, you need to go to grade two, to the next level, and people expect you to know everything you already were, was taught. Mm-hmm. And uh, I don't know exactly why, but it, it makes some students really frustrated. I believe that having frustrated teachers and parents and others makes the child, who's much younger, feel that it's impossible. Mm. Or it's jive. <laughs> Okay. I was there a long time ago. My my uh, experience as a child wasn't extremely bad, but I didn't really learn math until I got to community college, and I just started all over again from scratch. Wow. <laughs> and I made it uh, a daily routine, mm-hmm. and I studied two, three, four times a day. Not two, three, four times a day. Two, three, four hours a day. Okay. Gotcha. And when you do that, you learn how to do math like you know how to tie your shoes. Mm. And that's how it works. And also, getting older, you start to like vegetables. Mm-hmm. You start to like <laughs> mathematics, too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I wish I could say the same for myself. I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> I love vegetables, but me and math, oh, the, no. the, the basics. So it, it's interesting, and I'm, I'm glad to hear that you know, you're helping young folks who are struggling. And it doesn't seem to matter. It... it what I mean by matter, it, it doesn't seem to matter what your background is, you know, like whether you have um, whatever is going on in your home, whether you have a lot of money or not, whether you're in a good school or not. A lot of children seem to have trouble connecting to math. So I'm, I'm happy to hear that you're out there assisting any young person who needs that um, and, and, can, and can connect to it in a way where it's like, oh, okay, yes, I do need <laughs> trigonometry in some way, or I do need geometry. That was the thing we often would say. When am I ever going to use calculus? <laughs> when am I ever going to use these things? Like, that's how we would explain it away when we were younger and just say, oh, I can't wait to get out of this specific class. Well, uh, I had a friend, he passed away now, but he was an electrician, the, the man you see on the telephone poles fixing mm-hmm. those things, mm-hmm. and he had to know calculus. And he passed calculus real well. Nice. And uh, so you you will use those things, especially if you're going to invent new procedures. If you're going to improve worse, I mean, not worse, older procedures, you need to know your math real well. And so so you you will, we do use these things. And uh, um, I hope that they learn that they are at the top of the future. Yeah, yeah, (laughs) absolutely. We know that you are a supporter of Word. Tell mm-hmm. us why it's so important. Why is our station so important for you? Oh, one of the most important principles that I like about Kwanzaa is the, self, the second one, Kuji Takalia. Mm-hmm. And you have to define yourself, name yourself. And when we speak for ourselves and create for ourselves to do Word and other uh, black venues, that helps us do better. Listening to our problems from a foreign face mm-hmm. or a foreign... Uh, way of describing things it doesn't work mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what happened with, uh, with with us in Philadelphia with the great migration from the south uh, we rather hear about what happened from our own perspective of things rather than someone who gets things twisted and uh, sometimes just forgets what, what is important yeah, yeah. and, uh, yeah. and uh, so that's why I like having our own radio station where we are not edited out where we don't make enemies of our sponsors. Mm-hmm. In other words, we, we might want to not talk too loud about being black and proud if we mm-hmm. want, don't want Pepsi or Cola to go away. Right. <laughs> so right. Right. by having our own uh, radio station, we can uh, tell the truth. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. How can people get in contact with you or find out more about the services that you provide uh, to support young people and well, their math ability? They can listen to the radio station uh, advertisements that I have on where the telephone number is area code 
215-678-3830. And sign up. Tell me you're ready to start uh, these classes. The classes start Monday, oh. June 21st. And I, I want to have small classes. I'm not looking for 35 students in the classroom, mm-hmm. not even 15. But I want it to be no more than 10. Seven okay. to 10 students would be great. Uh, make sure that your students learn math. This is like knowing how to walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to the business world, you need math. Yeah, that is true. I thank you so much. I Likewise. truly appreciate it. And thank you for coming out to our first live broadcast in over a year. We appreciate your presence. All right. Well, I got some food here. Well, I got a little food. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. We all right. need the nourishment. So I right. appreciate you. You're welcome. Take care. All right. Take it easy. If you're just tuning in, it is our first live broadcast. As you just heard me say, in over a year, the city is opening up. It is June 11th. Come on out and join us. We are at the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road, 4160 Monument Road to be exact. Put it in your GPS. Slide on over. Walk. Ride your bike. Get in the car. Catch the bus. Whatever it is you need to do, we will be here until 1 p.m. Many of the Word family, if not all the Word family, is here today to greet you. We are taking your memberships, you can sign up and become a member of Word. If you have not become a member, you can become a member today. Why not? And if you can't join us in person, it's all right. You can always go to our website, wordradio.com, and sign up there. All right, we're going to take a brief break, but when we come back, we'll have more conversation and more live excitement as the city is opening up and we are out live in it. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this. And welcome back to this Friday edition of The Source here on WURD 96.1 FM. I am Tiffany Bacon. Thank you so much for joining me. We are broadcasting live from the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. It is our first broadcast in over a year. And we feel good to be back outside. We feel good that we're able to connect with the community and it is a really special day, not just because things are opening back up, but because it is our annual Early Bird Four Word Membership Special. We want you to be a member. We want you to join us. We want you to continue to support everything that we are doing in the community, on the airwaves, and we appreciate those who have already joined the family. We're doing specials today. $5 digital only membership. $75 special annual membership. $300 family membership. That includes swag for four folks and trust our swag is swagalicious. Nothing corny about it. So make sure you do that. Or we have the VIP membership special which also includes swag for four individuals. That is with a 50, I'm sorry, with a 500, excuse me, $500 Uh, membership price point. So feel free to come down. We are taking your memberships at our membership table. We have some beautiful team members who are there ready to greet you. So come on by. I would love to see you stop by the broadcast table. As long as I'm not talking on air, I can talk to you and say hello. If I am talking on air, I will wave until it's time for the break and then we can chat a little bit. All right. So uh, much love going out to Roberta who posted on our Facebook page, she says, good morning. I listen a, uh, at WURD every morning because I need real news in and around my neighborhood from people who look like me, men and women who understand our situations and struggles, and I love to connect, hear fresh ideas, hear fresh points of view, and WURD allows that, gives us that as well as allowing us to voice our opinions. Roberta, thank you so much for sharing that. We appreciate you. We appreciate your support. If you're not a member, we encourage you to become a member today. If you are a member, we encourage you to renew your membership today. Either way, we encourage you to continue to send your love and support and listen to WURD. If you have a similar story, something you would like to share, you can call the station. We can air your comments and or you can post it on our comments section on either Facebook Live or YouTube Live, if that's where you're watching, and I will do my best to read it. I have a very special guest right now who is doing a whole lot of great stuff and who is also uh, 
doing something great with Michael Cord later on next week. But he is uh, someone I've known for many, many years, and you probably know him too, Mr. Gary Shepard, who is the president and CEO of Third Floor Media. Gary, good morning. Hey, good morning, Tiff. How are you today? I'm breathing on schedule. How are you? I'm vertical. (laughs) And that's a good thing. (laughs) Vertical is a great thing. Thank you so much for being here. Mm -hmm. Uh, Great to be out. Great to be out live and in person. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm glad you recognize me. It's like, who is that mask man? Exactly. <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny with this whole 2020 pandemic experience, yes. how you really have to lean in when you see somebody for the yes. first time in a while. You really have to lean in and look at the eyes because right, it's right. always the eyes, right. right? That's right. That tells you everything. Yeah, yeah. The, the eyes and the forehead. <laughs> and the voice. <laughs> and the voice. Yes. Well, tell us about Third Floor Media and the great things that you guys are doing right now? Well, in Third Floor Media, we specialize in advertising, production, and consulting. As an advertising agency, we place media buys on all platforms, radio, television, print, digital, out of home, uh, the OTT, uh, social media. So as an advertising agency, we do that. As a production facility, we produce the content with the videos for television or online, as well as producing audio for radio spots and, you know, voiceovers for audio. And as a consulting firm, we consult different businesses on, you know, the kinds of activities they're involved in and, you know, some of the recommendations we may make to them. Yeah. So, so basically, that's it in a nutshell. I transitioned from radio to this many, many years ago when I started with the production facility mm-hmm. and then full time with advertising production and consulting. Got it. Yeah. I love it. I love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but it sounds like radio is still in you. Like, is that oh, the kind of yeah. thing that, <laughs> that never leaves your Yeah, bones? yeah, it never, it <laughs> never leaves you. You know, once you get radio in your blood, it's always there. Yeah. You know that. You know that yourself. Oh, I surely do. <laughs> <laughs> I surely do. 31 years and counting. I sure do. Mm-hmm. Uh, so tell us about how you were able to survive and manage through the pandemic. Well, I mean, we were fortunate enough that we have clients that continue to thrive and continue to call upon us. However, we did have to apply for the PPP and the, and the SBA loans and, and all of that. And, and we just got some good news yesterday okay. that one of our PPPs has been forgiven. So, hey, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Praise God for that. Praise yes. God for that. So, yes. so that was uh, helpful with us as we've gone through this pandemic. We had to pivot and innovate. And that's one of the things I said right in the beginning uh, when the pandemic started. Those companies that will continue to thrive and survive will have to innovate. Yeah. will have to pivot, be agile, yeah. you know, have to adjust, come up with new ways. And, you know, we're in a new paradigm right now. So thank you. Praise God that, that we're able to uh, to do that. I know that's right. Yeah. I, I always have to ask this of any guest uh, mm-hmm. who joins me on air. How did the events of 2020 change you as a person? Well, you know, uh, one of the things that really hit me very, very hard was I lost my brother to uh, mm-hmm. COVID back in December. I'm so sorry. And uh, we were like twins. We were only 17 months apart. So, so that's something that I'm still dealing with because he lived in Texas and we weren't able to go down for the memorial service or anything like that. We had to kind of watch something online streaming. It wasn't what I thought it should have been. So that really hit hard as well. So it's still kind of coping with that. Um, that's, that's one of the things. And obviously when you're dealing with people and, and you can't have people over to your home, yeah. you know, uh, we have been uh, fortunate enough to, to have a patio in the back. Mm-hmm. So we have had a couple of people over during the past year, but not like we did before. Yeah. You know, before it was just wide open. You know, you invite people over and you just have a good time. Now you have to be very, very cautious about anything and everything that you do. Yeah. And then I urge people, you know, they say the city is opening up now. I urge you to still wear your mask. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Make no mistake about yeah, it. Still wear your mask. Vaxxed and mask is still on mm-hmm. <laughs> and yeah. shall be for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about why black radio, especially URD, is important. Well, you know what, you. Tiffany, I heard you asking that question earlier, and it just brought to my mind, you know, I'm a native uh, where I grew up in, in and around Detroit, Michigan. Mm-hmm. That's my hometown. In fact, the hospital I was born in, if you stand in the middle of the street and look to your left, you'll see the hospital I was born in if you stand right in front of Hitsville, USA. Wow. Where the Motown sound emanated from. Yes. So in, uh, in the area, 
there was a black-owned radio station that was built in the 50s from the ground up mm. to service the black community. And uh, I was really thrilled as a kid listening to it and finally got an opportunity to work on that station because I heard uh, one of your listeners earlier talking about how you get information from other sources, but it might not be the correct information or the information how you would receive it and, right. and, and also pass it along. WCHB is the, is the radio station by Dr. Wendell Cox and Dr. Haley Bell. Mm. Wendell Cox, Haley Bell, WCHB. Mm. Built from the ground up as a black-owned radio station. We got all of our information from that. That was, you know, my ear was always glued to it. Yeah. Just like WURD is right now. So, so that's very important that the community continues to support WURD radio, word radio, black talk media. It's very, very important to continue to support URD. And, and, and one of the things that uh, we're doing right now is with the Pennsylvania Juneteenth Initiative mm -hmm. and partnering with WURD Radio. Yes. And that's for next Saturday, mm -hmm. June 19th, Juneteenth, 52nd in Haverford. It's the gathering place right at the Spectrum Health Services building. We're going to have a rally there. I just got off the phone with State Senator Vincent Hughes. Okay. He uh, confirmed his appearance, and he's going to be speaking there. Uh, Congressman Dwight Evans will be speaking there as well. We'll have the CEO of Spectrum speaking. Uh, a couple of the speakers. The rapping professor. Okay. He's going to be there as well. Awesome. So, yeah, that, that rally starts off, you know, we're asking people to gather between 9 and 9.30. The mm -hmm. program starts between 9.30 and 9.45. Mm -hmm. And the march kicks off at 11.00. Now, as well as you well know, Tiffany, we had a whole lot of restrictions. So, and the planning of the Juneteenth celebration this year, because back in 2019, we had the largest parade in West Philadelphia yes. of the Juneteenth celebration down 52nd Street. Over 25,000 attendees and over 2,200 in the parade. Wow. Can you imagine that? I mean, wow. it was great. Kendra, the family soul, was yes. a featured performer. Yes. I mean, it was just a wonderful, beautiful day. So, we're marching from... 52nd and Haverford, starting at 11, and it ends up at Malcolm X Park. Mm -hmm. Now, at the park, we'll be featuring artwork from young black artists because the Mural Arts Program is one of our partners. Yes. Young black artists will be featuring their artwork with the QR code on it. If people want to uh, buy that piece of work mm -hmm. or any other piece of work, scan the QR code, takes you directly to the artist or the Mural Arts Program, and they can direct you to that artist. There will also be a food distribution taking place across the street mm -hmm. at the GLA school. Okay. So, so it, it's, a, it's a whole lot going on uh, as far wow. as the, the commemoration, right. the education, and the celebration yes. of Juneteenth. Yes. So, you know, we want the listeners to come out because Michael Cord, you yep. mentioned him. Michael Cord will he, be the host. He's going to be broadcasting live from 9 to 11. Yes. Right there at 52nd and Haverford next Saturday. So please, please put it on your calendar. Make sure that is going to be something that you want to add to your Juneteenth events next, uh, next week. There are a lot of different things happening around Absolutely. the city, yeah. uh, which is great. Again, with the reopening, choose your comfort level, how many people you want to be around. I usually say, if you don't like to be around a lot of people, go early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Show up for the early parts and then listen to the rest of the radio if you like. <laughs> so, you know what? I'm glad you said about the all the other activities for Juneteenth. Just want to salute the folks, everybody who's celebrating Juneteenth. Yeah. I guess it was the Juneteenth family. They were down at City Hall. They did a flag, ra flag raising on Monday. Mm -hmm. And uh, on next Wednesday, the Pennsylvania Juneteenth Initiative will be there along with the mayor at City Hall to raise another flag. Right beside wow. the Juneteenth flag. Yeah. So that's this coming Wednesday, 11 o'clock, City Hall. The mayor will be there speaking and other special guest speakers, including our television uh, partner, 6ABC. Mm -hmm. So the president, general manager, Bernie Prezetica, and several others will be speaking there. I nice. want to give a shout out to uh, Connie up at the Johnson House in Germantown. Their celebration begins at 1 o'clock in the afternoon until 5 in the afternoon. So once you have come out to the rally starting at 9 in the morning, yep. the march starting at 11, yep. that'll go until about 1 or 2 o'clock. Then head up to Germantown mm -hmm. and, and, and visit that and celebrate and educate. So yes. I always say... Commemoration, mm -hmm. education, and celebration Absolutely. of Juneteenth. 
Absolutely. And I appreciate that you have so much to do with a lot of that. Um, you've been so active in the community, and I appreciate that every everything you have done over all the years, and I appreciate that. Well, thank you for that. Praise God. And uh, like I said, still vertical. <laughs> Amen, amen, amen. Before I let you go, please remind folks how they can find out more about what you do. Okay. Well, uh, first of all, JuneteenthPhilly.org is the website if you want to find out more about the march and everything you can do. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, since there is no parade this year, but we are allowed to have a march. Right. We've hosted a float house competition. Oh, so there won't be floats in the parade, but you can decorate your house or your business or your block like Get a float. Get out. Get out. And in addition to that, there will be a $1,000 cash prize awarded to the best decoration in four categories. Your private home, your business, your block, or your nonprofit. Okay, now I know some people's ears just perked up. Where do they go to find out all the details on that? JuneteenthPhilly.org. Amazing. JuneteenthPhilly.org. And you can find out all the information there. You'll see a video, and they have all the other inf- information on the site where you can find out all that information. I love it. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. is awesome. I'm, I'm hyped. I'm excited about it. Uh, just looking <laughs> forward. Just talking to different people. And, you know, I just see you have the beautiful audience here. Yeah. You know, some of your listeners, but this place is busy. Yeah. It's busy. It is. So, so come on over and please give a shout out to Tiff doing her thing. <laughs> And I, I love your jewelry, too. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. Gary Shepard, it is so great to see you with Third Floor Media. Give uh, the phone number and information if anybody needs to contact you for the business part. For the business part, our, our website is very simple. Mm-hmm. It's the numeral 3, FM, like FM radio, yep. dot FM. Oh, easy. 3FM dot FM. I love it. That's it. <laughs> 215-844-5710. 3FM.FM, 215-844-5710. Fantastic. <laughs> Gary Shepard, thank you so much for stopping oh, by. Oh, thanks, thanks for having me on. God bless you, Tiffany. Bless you keep up the good work, okay? And thank congratulations you. on your 31 years. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. All right. <laughs> All right. Take it easy. So we are here. We are live at the Fresh Grocer. We would love for you to stop by. Plenty of fresh food, honey. It's the grocery store. So you need to get your groceries today. Make this your spot, even if it's out of the way, because it's our first broadcast in over a year. It would be amazing to see you in person. Our membership table is crowded, which is what we love to see. Folks are signing up, renewing their memberships, uh, just getting a fresh membership. All of that is amazing. It is great. Thank you so much for those who are signing up today for the first time or renewing again. We would love for you to join us. Simply come by. We will be here until 1 p.m. The word family is in the building, y'all. We are all together. Hand sanitizers, wet ones, Lysol ready. But we are together. So come on out. 4160 Monument Road. We're going to take a break and be right back with more of the festivities as the city reopens. And we are accepting your memberships today. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this. And a very good morning to you. Welcome back. This is the Friday edition of The Source here on WURD. And we are broadcasting live. For the first time in over a year, I keep getting excited about it because, I mean, this is something we love to do. And because of COVID and because of quarantine, we have not been able to do this for over a year. But we are here now in person, touching the community, saying hello and definitely saying hello to you. We are at the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road, 4160 Monument Road is the exact address. I'm Tiffany Bacon. Come on down here. The forward team is in the building. If you would like to sign up, become a member, renew your membership, we would love for you to come and do it in person so we can personally thank you for all the support you have given us. If you are unable to, we totally understand. You can go to our website. If you can access that, that would be amazing. Go to W. WURDradio.com 
and forward slash membership, and you can join that way as well. So we have a member here with us who decided to come out, want to speak with her. Her name is Dolores, and she is a member of Word. Hello, Miss Dolores. How are you? Okay. How are you? I am breathing on schedule. Thank you for being here. And tell us why you are a member of WURD. Um, I fell in love when I first started listening to WRD. I'm from South Carolina, and I started to listen to Word, and I just got hooked because it is an informative station to us as a people. And I've been a member for about a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, I really just enjoy Word information. So, okay, you said you're originally from North Carolina. South South Carolina. Carolina. Let me get it right. Let me get it right. You're originally from South Carolina. So what brought you to Philly, if you care to share? Um, my, um, my father, he brought me here to live with my aunt. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And that was about it. I'm learning city politics. Uh (laughs) And um, word is very informative on that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. How did you stumble across the station? Like, at what point did you even learn we were here? Um, I'm just trying to think how... I think I was listening to it with someone else. Okay. And then, you know, I just tuned in, and that was it. <laughs> That's great. That is always great. So did you share the knowledge and the wealth with your friends? Did oh, you turn them on oh, to us as yes, well? <laughs> yes, yes, everybody. I try, you know, to pass the word on to them, whether they listen or not, Yeah. but I do pass the word. Yeah, yeah. I love it. So <laughs> when you think about um, how much you have learned, what, what are some of the things that stick out to you that you learned from listening to WURD? Well, like I say, dealing with city politics, Mm -hmm. I have learned a lot from the station on how to deal with some of the things that happen in my neighborhood and who to call and um, how to get some things done in your neighborhood when you're trying to get things done in your neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're good for that. We will make sure you know who to call, when to call, why to call, how often to call. Right, yes. (laughs) That is amazing. Thank you so much for for sharing um, your word story and why you're a member. And can you tell us what's your favorite times to listen? Most of the time, I'm... I try to listen all day, but I have a grandson that I run around with. But mostly, I listen to it basically all day. The radio is set there, so I'm just listening. And I appreciate it. Thank you so much for sharing that and, and for stopping by the membership table and for coming by the broadcast table as well. We appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you so much. And keep up the good work. <laughs> Will do. Thank you, Ms. Dolores. We appreciate you. Um, Love to hear that. See, we have so many great folks who are, who are stopping by to share their four-word stories, why they remember, why they listen. Um, we're doing special memberships right now. It is our early bird, annual early bird membership drive. We encourage you to jump on board. If you like what you hear, if you are inspired, if you are educated, as Ms. Dolores just said, then continue to support us so we don't have to always rely on other sources. We appreciate your support. So here are the options for membership. We have the $5 digital only option. We also have the $75 annual membership option. You can renew for that amount. Um, There is the $300 family membership that includes swag for four people. All right. So that's great. (laughs) Everybody gets some swag if you join with that. And there's the $500 dollar VIP membership that you can pay for as well. So you can do all of that in person. We will be here until one o'clock here at the uh, Fresh Grocer on Monument Road, or you can do it via the internet. You can go to our website and join. That is an option. I understand some folks are like, yep, nope, can't get out there today because I don't want to or because I can't. So either way, we appreciate it. Take a visit to our website, wrdradio.com forward slash membership. 
uh, Deneen says from our uh, Facebook comments. No, I'm sorry. This is YouTube. My bad. From our YouTube comments. Deneen says, so grateful for Word. I've been a member since 2017 and listen every day. Thankful for this wonderful resource that keeps the community well-informed and equipped to take action on the things that matter. Deneen, thank you so much for that. Um, thank you for checking us out on YouTube Live as well. So I appreciate the folks who are watching us on YouTube and on Facebook. I appreciate all y'all. Um, so listen, feel free to stop by the table. We would like to shake your hand. We would like to say thank you for being a member. Some members just walked by. Just wait. They're wearing their swag. I love that. The members are coming in with the swag. They're like, oh, no, we support. We're all about URD. So I appreciate the folks stopping by uh, to share their love and support. Um, I think we may have... Oh, yes, really quick. Gary Shepard is back. He has another quick thing he wants to share with us. Hey, Gary. Hey, breaking news. Yes. I, you know, I, I, I hate to break back in like this, but <laughs> I forgot to mention, and it, please, uh, uh, WRD family, don't beat me up. Uh-oh. Sarah Lomax Reese, the president, CEO, mm -hmm. and owner of WRD, will also be speaking Yo. next week, 52nd in Haverford. Mm -hmm. She's on the program. She'll be speaking. She'll be saying some wonderful words. And obviously, you're going to continue your membership drive then. Absolutely. So if you want to meet and greet, say hello to Sarah Lomax Reese. She will be speaking next week. So yes. I asked for her forgiveness. She said I didn't have to, <laughs> but, uh, I, but I felt like I had to. Yeah, that's but, important. Though. Yeah, it's really important, <laughs> especially to the Word family. Yes. And to everybody else in the Philadelphia community. Absolutely. Because you guys really hold sway within the community as far as getting the information out. So join us, Sarah Lomax Reese, one of the speakers, next week at 52nd and Haverford. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Tim. No problem. It is all good. It is all good. Thanks, Gary. All right. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you put that event on your calendar for next Saturday. Celebrate Juneteenth. If you have never celebrated Juneteenth, make sure you celebrate this year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please make sure you celebrate this year. There are a multitude of opportunities to go out and celebrate, including the one that we are doing uh with Gary Shepard um, and his organization, so make sure you check that out. Michael Cord will be broadcasting live next Saturday. So I think I have another, I may have another special guest on the line. Let me see if we have Greg, just Greg Corbin on the line. Is he there? Okay, he is not there just yet, but that's quite all right. Um, this is the opportunity you're going to start to see, if you're on social media, you're going to start to see your timeline flooded with a lot of events. I think yesterday when I was looking at my timeline on Facebook, I'm like, wow, there's a lot of flyers for events. Have not seen that in a long time, you know, um, and it feels good. It's, it is scary. I mentioned one time uh, on the show how the first time I saw live theater, which was maybe about a month ago. An ingenious idea, it was drive-through theater, right? So we were all in a parking lot in our own individual vehicles, and we drove up to the stage, good morning, and saw theater <laughs> from the comfort of our cars. Innovation that probably wouldn't have happened prior to the pandemic, but it was great. But I remember feeling a bit of anxiety about being around people that weren't already in my home. Um, I totally understand that. You know, we're, we're all excited about, now some people are, some people aren't excited about everything opening up. Some folks feel like we're opening up too soon. COVID is still an issue. If you are vaccinated, if you are comfortable, come on out. We, we had, listen, I don't know where my wipes are, but I got wipes. So you need wipes? I got, I got the wipes. You go wipe your hands, you want to come out and say hello. We have plenty of hand sanitizer if you want to come and say hello. If you, feel, if you feel comfortable enough about being around folks, we encourage you to come out and say hello to us today. You can sign up uh, and join the Forward family. We have a member of the Word family right here, also a host of The Source. And we love her so very much. Andrea Lovell Sanders hey, is here. honey, how are you? I'm breathing on schedule. How are you living? Listen to me. I walked in here and the WID <laughs> listeners are making me cry. Yeah. 
isn't it amazing? It's you know you don't know how much they're listening to what you speak about every day mm -hmm. until you see them in person. Yeah. One lady walked up and laid some words on me, and I stood in the middle of the, the alcohol line and just started to cry. Oh wow! They're appreciative, you know. And so when we we open up these microphones and we start to talk to people, mm -hmm. we have to remember that it really isn't about us, and that we have to to divest and give uh, information mm -hmm. that would be useful to them. I love these people. Do you hear what I'm yes. saying to you? Yes. Love them to death. Yes. And so y'all come on out here because mother is here. And I don't know if you'll ever see me again anytime soon. Right there. Ooh. Listen. She so come playing. on down. We're here at uh, Monument Avenue, Monument Road. Mm -hmm. Is it 4160? 4160, 4160 Monument, Monument Road. And we're here until 1 o'clock. They're serving hot dogs and yes. chips and water right now. And the WID listeners are hanging tight. So come on down. Come meet Mother. Come meet Solomon. Come meet Kowesa. Come meet all the producers. Tiffany is here. You know, it's just you don't get to see this. And it's been a year. And we just need you all to come love upon us so we can continue to do what we need to do. Please. And the forward membership. To Listen. They are signing up like nobody's business. That table I love is popping. It. Listen, even <laughs> better Jamaican. Listen. <laughs> Mr. Brown, there he is. Mr. <laughs> yes, Mr. Brown. Yes, Mr. Brown. Yeah, I love it. I love yeah. it. Talk about how you feel about being out. This 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 whole idea of reopening. What is yeah, how is know, that feeling for you? So I have some media friends that invited me to their home on Tuesday night, and I was talking about this on the air yesterday. I was exhausted. Yeah. You know, I think there's a level of anxiety that we feel, even though we were outside having our dinner. There was a level of anxiety, not just from showing up there, but holding the conversations that we're not accustomed to having. And you realize how much we needed a diggity dang break, right? And so I am. I have to tell you, I'm not. My soul is not ready. Mm. It's just, I, I, I think for this, because of COVID, there's some things I'm never going to go back to do again. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. I'm not going back to normal, quote unquote. Right. I am reimagining what my life would look like right. moving forward because I realized I spent a lot of time running up and down in my car, meeting people, mm. uh, unnecessary conversations. I ain't doing that no more. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Marva is over it. <laughs> Ain't nobody mad, though. Hey, listen. If they are, oh, well, yeah, they'll, they'll be know, okay. You know, let's do a Zoom meeting or, mm -hmm. you know, um, I, all those meetings after meeting after meeting. I'm done. I'm done with them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. So It is yeah. a lot. How are you doing it with lot. it? You know, like, as I was just mentioning, I initially had some anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, I'm already someone who is not big on crowds. Mm -hmm. I have not been big on crowds mm -hmm. in many, many a year. Yes. But it was a different level of anxiety that mm -hmm. I felt first going out. And even to, like I was mentioning, that theatrical experience, which I thought was great. Like, live theater for right. the first time in a year, this is great. And I'm seeing it from the comfort of my vehicle. Yeah. Innovative. Ah, drive-in theater, you know, drive-in movies, which had all but, like, died. Yep. And yep. then they sprang up immediately, mm -hmm. which I thought, oh, this is great. Mm -hmm. But being around people, I felt an anxiety that I had not felt before. And I really had to deal with that. And I'm normally a social person. Prior to the pandemic, I was already going through some personal things that made me want to withdraw. Right. But the pandemic said, oh, okay. the way shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I was not mad at that yeah. at all. I needed that break. I needed that separation to get myself together, to mm -hmm. rethink my life, yeah. which was necessary. So I, I've been saying to folks, the pandemic was a tragedy, but quarantine was a blessing yes. for me. Yes. There's nothing great about the pandemic, yes. but the quarantine for me mm -hmm. was a blessing. I agree. Um, but there is that excitement to these things. Like, yes. I forgot how much being out there and connecting with people face yes. to face yes. meant. And how excited I get to say, oh, I am seeing the yes. person I'm talking to. Yes. I can touch them if I want to, if they want me to touch them. Listen, honey, <laughs> I'm looking for Maurice, George, <laughs> Prince, all the people that called into the radio station. Okay. And it's so funny how they walk up and they say, I listen yeah. every day. And they know yeah. what time you come on. Yeah. They know the days that you're on. And so you Your know catch the catchphrases. Because they came up to me today and said, talk about so." 
breathing on schedule. I say, yes, 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 yes. So it's good stuff. It's good stuff. I really fully appreciate this opportunity yeah. to be hanging with my people. I do. Yeah. Outside of being a team member for mm-hmm. work, why is black media? Why is URD important to you? We get a voice. So I've been, I have a ton of media friends, and I've been in media doing some work now for the last year and a half, two years. Outside of Word, we don't get the kind of depth, in-depth conversations that we, we would normally want to have, right? And so oftentimes when mainstream, and I, I put this in air quotes, mainstream media shows up to talk about something that's going on in our community, they get the facts, they never get to know the people, mm-hmm. they never get to know our history, never get to, and, they, and quite often they don't care, right? Because they're just, they're on deadline. On WUID, we get to research what's going on, you know, tell the people what they need to know. And I have to tell you, I believe we were instrumental in the COVID vaccinations. I believe we were instrumental in this last election. I believe we continue to be instrumental because people will call and say, tell us who we, who, who's running for office, you know? And then they'll go out and do what they need to do. So I love this place. <laughs> Yo. So come, continue to come out and support it. Get your forward membership. It's $75 until June 12th, right? 19. 19. I think it's 19th. It's the 19th yeah, we're, now? we're extending it until the 19th well, until praise June. the Lord and pass the mustard seed yes. until June 19th. But the way the folks are coming out here today and signing them, mm-hmm. even the Jamaican who said he had never been a board member, but he heard, and so he's coming. And so we're getting more people now to sign up for our WID membership. Hi, sir. Yes. So we're here. We're absolutely here. Absolutely love mm-hmm. it. And you look fabulous, mother. Thank you, darling. You know more for Hester. You know. You know. I, the, the one thing this, this thing gave me, because I was spending money on a gym membership and really wasn't enjoying it, and the gym was so nasty. Mm. Ugh, nasty. Thing. I was walking around with my wipes before COVID hit. Mm. When COVID hit, I was like, enough. Yeah. So I've been outside now encouraging people to walk with me, yeah. you know? And so we're having a good time. So I'm getting, folks are talking about their mm. health and well-being. We're talking about the kinds of things that we're putting in our bellies. We're mm. talking about the that diabetes and hypertension and cancer and just the normal stresses of everyday life of being black, of being in the skin that we're in, how it has been devastating to us, how we rip each other up listen, unnecessarily. Listen. It, uh, yeah, shut up, more. Listen. Listen. And, and, and let me tell you, <laughs> I done had some conversations with my white friends. I was like, look at here. Don't ask me no more how you can't fix, how I can't help you fix racism. Y'all did this. Come on, let's talk about it. Be about it. I'm not solving, solving anybody's problems anymore. Google. And so I'm breathing on schedule, <laughs> like you said. I'm finding the collateral beauty and stop stressing myself out with people's foolishness. You know, so there's a lot going on there. But yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Yes. I appreciate you, Mama. Thank you, honey. It's so good to see you. Y'all come on down here. Mother is here till 1 yes. o'clock. I've yes. got a bunch of appointments today, and I'm stuck up in here because I want to meet all the WURD listeners. If you don't show up today, don't call me on Monday because I ain't hey. got no words for you. I'm just kidding. Oh, lies. <laughs> lies and alibis. Look at lies you. and flies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, honey. You're doing a fabulous Thank job. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. I appreciate you. All right, my love. All See right. My other sister in the source, Andrea Lawful Sanders. Make sure you check her out as well here on URD as we continue as we continue to bring you great information as we continue to uh, to ask and appreciate your support we are signing you up for memberships if you are already a member you can renew your membership today all you have to do is come down we are broadcasting live from the fresh grocer on Monument Road. We are having a good time. People are coming up, giving each other hugs, pounds, elbow bumps, whatever it is you feel comfortable doing. We are doing that. It is like a family reunion. When was the last time you got to go to a family reunion? It is like that up in here today. So come and feel the vibe. We would love, 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 love to see you. So come on down. We will be broadcasting here until 1 p.m. We're going to take a break. When we come back, more conversation, more of the celebration as the world opens back up. We are broadcasting live from the Fresh Grocer at, on Monument Road. So please stay with us. We'll be right back after this. And a welcome back. Thank you, Miss Kayla J, for that. If you are not bumping and grooving, I don't know what is going on in your spirit. Because a little Aretha Franklin, a little Stevie Wonder is always good for the soul. Welcome back. 
We are broadcasting live from the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. It's Tiffany Bacon. We are happy to be out here in the community today. It is our first live broadcast in over a year. And we are here for our early annual, our annual early bird forward membership drive. I'm gonna get my life together. Uh, we have various price points, how you can support the station. $5 digital only membership is available to you today. Same thing with the $75 annual membership. You can renew your membership or you can have a fresh membership today. If you are not a member, you can join up today. But we would love to see you in person. If you check out my show every Friday, I would love to see you. If you can get here, come by, say hello. There's so many members of the Word team here today. We would love, all of us would love to see you. So if you can't stop by, we are in the building until 1 p.m. Right now, we have our fearless leader, our CEO, Sarah Lomax Reese, joining us. Hi, Sarah. Hello, Tiffany. Hi, Eric. Hi, everybody. We got a, 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 a wild and raucous crowd here today. But it's a good thing. It's a beautiful thing. It, it is. is a great thing. Absolutely. So how are you feeling about the world opening up and us even being able to be out in person amongst the community today? It's, it's beautiful. I mean, I think that there's... Um, um, you know, people are rightfully cautious mm -hmm. and, you know, people are wearing masks still, even though we, um, you know, the mask mandate has, has been lifted, mm -hmm. but um, we're inside and I think it's, um, it's, it's important to operate with an abundance of caution. And, um, but I'm just happy to see everyone, you know, we have a real word family yeah. and there are um, word family members who come to everything and so it's really lovely to see some of the folks that we haven't seen in over a year yeah. because we have not been doing public gatherings and so it's 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 really great and it's um it's heart heartening and heartwarming that's awesome mm -hmm. that is awesome uh much love to the folks who are checking us out on facebook and youtube live we're going to do our best to make sure you can hear what we're saying clearly sarah lomax reese is joining us so when you think about how we managed through the pandemic. Give us from your perspective um, the importance of word for our community, especially during this crazy time. Yeah, we actually did a, a podcast, a four-part podcast called "On um, 2020 in Black." Um, that was a retrospective of the big, the four big issues that happened during the 2020 year and the pandemic. One was how we covered as an independent black media station. Um, the, the pandemic and COVID and how it really hit us personally yeah. and, uh, and professionally. Um, Eric was one of the people who participated in that and he told his personal story. Yeah. So we were grateful for that. Um, we also talked about the racial justice protests and also the 2020 presidential election. Mm -hmm. And through all of it, really focusing on what we bring uniquely to um, our coverage, to the airwaves, to the journalism world, the media world, as an independent black owned uh, media organization. And that's really what I think um, it, this forward early bird membership drive is all about to really support what makes us unique and what allows us to continue to grow and innovate and do different things through the support that we get through membership and corporate support and uh, philanthropic support. And so, you know, this is, it was, it was a really, um, difficult year. It was a very difficult year and I'm grateful and I'm hopeful that uh, with the vaccination rollout and, and all of those things that we are going to be able to get back to some type of uh, new normal. I, I emphasize new because I don't want to I don't want to uh, replicate some of the, the, the negative things that right. might have been in, in place um, before the pandemic right. and just try and take what, what we've learned and what we can um, what we can build into this this going forward um, life that we're creating. Yeah, yeah. Speaking of going forward, what do we have planned? What can you share with our listeners and our viewers about the plans for URD this summer? Well, can I tell, and beyond? Can, can I tell? Can I tell? Can, can I tell your news? <laughs> You can't. Can I tell the, the news of the, of, of the people sitting in front of me? You can't. You so can't. So sitting in front of me is Tiffany Bacon, as you know, and Eric Nixon, who you know. So Tiffany has just been, um, has just accepted the opportunity to be our interim program director. So you're going to be hearing and, and uh, experiencing a lot more from Tiffany 
going forward. And Eric is going to be our assistant program manager. So he too has gotten uh, an, an, a promotion within the organization. So we're really excited to um, see what this new programming team is going to be able to bring to the airwaves, to the entire organization. And I'm just um, really excited that uh, both of you are up for the challenge and ready to to expand your role within the within work. Oh yeah, uh, super excited, super super excited about all of that. Eric, you can speak for yourself. He doesn't have a mic right now, but if <laughs> he doesn't have a mic, but he's excited. I can tell he's excited as well. And I know we are we are planning a lot of great things for the summer on air and in person. Gary Shepard was here a moment ago talking about our Juneteenth program. Would you like to reiterate some of the things that we have coming up with Juneteenth and sure. uh, in the next couple of days, actually? Sure, sure, sure. So, um, you know, it's Black Music Month, so we are going to be continuing to do um, Black Music Month uh, content and, and interviews and vignettes and just celebrate the genius that um, is expressed through our Black musical um, heritage. Um, Juneteenth is next Saturday, June 19th, and um, we'll be out broadcasting live from 9 to 11 a.m. in front of Spectrum Health at 52nd and Haverford to kick off the Juneteenth march uh, up 52nd Street to Malcolm X Park. And so we're looking forward to, um, you know, Michael Cord will be hosting. Um, I'll be out there and and other folks um, from the team will be out there. People can renew or join their forward membership still at that early bird rate on uh, June 19th. And we'll be doing a lot on, on air around June 19, around Juneteenth um, as well. Um, we also have a live broadcast coming up um, at JD's um, Auto Body um, on uh, June 16th. And it's really like a Father's Day focused um, broadcast where we'll also be able to um, talk about our Go to Know campaign, which is around um, education and outreach around colorectal cancer in the black community and so we really want to encourage people to go on our website click on the go to know banner and order a free um fit kit which is a non-invasive at home screening test i just Mm. sent mine back this week awesome and so it's it's a it's a way for us to be proactive about our about our health we know that during the pandemic a lot of people weren't able to go to get their cancer screenings whether it's breast cancer or colon cancer or whatever and so we really want to be um, proactive around encouraging people to, you know, re-engage with their health and well-being because at the end of the day, that is everything. Yeah. That yeah, is yeah. everything. Our physical and mental and emotional well-being, if we're not prioritizing that, we are, we are, you know, we are missing a tremendous opportunity to live our best and fullest life. And so, um, so those are some of the things that we have coming up um, in the community and, and on air and then in... In July, we're going to really get out on the road with our um, our uh, live broadcast series that we're going to be doing out in the community throughout July and August. And then in August, we have our Founders Day celebration, which is always our big um, big event. Last year, we couldn't do it in person. This year, we'll um, we'll do e- both a virtual and in person mm-hmm. execution. Um, it's in celebration of my father, Walter P. Lomax Jr. MD's life as the founder of Word. Right. And so, um, just you know, lots to lots to look forward to in uh, the next few months. Absolutely, and we're super excited. Uh, We understand people's comfort level with being in person right now varies, so that's why I'm so glad we're gonna continue to offer some virtual programming for those who are like not quite ready, or who are like, I would love to, but I have other commitments and I still wanna participate. And I think that's one one of the beauties that emerged from the pandemic, or rather quarantine, the pandemic is, not a beauty, but the quarantine portion of the pandemic, that we've had to be so innovative with how we deliver our word, how we deliver our content. To what degree do you think that's going to continue as we move forward and and get back to everything is in person? Yeah, no, it's definitely going to continue. I mean, we leaned into our audio platforms with radio and obviously the video platforms with We're on StreamYard right now, you know, with uh, Facebook Live and YouTube. Um, We'll also be continuing to build and and create more uh, original video content, Mm -hmm. more um, audio content in the form of podcasts and things like that, building out our EcoWord initiative, which is all around the intersection of um, race, health, income, business, and the environment, and our livelihood initiative, which is focused on work and wealth and how we 
really support folks by connecting them with job opportunities through our jobs portal. Really want to encourage people right. to go to wordworks.com and check out the, the job portal, W-U-R-D-W-O-R-K-S dot com, as a way to, you know, um, address the deficits and the challenges that so many of us are facing through this, you know, the, the, the downturn in the economy from the pandemic. Right. And so we know so many people are unemployed or underemployed or out of work. And, and so livelihood is a way to help entrepreneurs, small businesses and individuals try and build like a wealth creation strategy through work and investing and financial literacy and all of those things. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we've, we, we, we really have um, a lot of things happening, mm -hmm. but it's all focused around what are the challenges that our community are facing specifically and uniquely, and how can we, as, as a black-owned media or organization, mm -hmm. um, address them and speak into them and be a connector and a bridge to connect people with resources, information, and access. Fantastic. Yeah. Sarah Lomax, Reeves, thank you so thank much. You. I appreciate you stopping by. Yes. My pleasure. It is awesome. So listen, you have a lot to support here when you support WURD. Make sure you renew your membership today, or if you're not a member, it's a great time to become one. You heard it from our fearless leader's mouth. We have a lot going on this summer, and we want you to be a part. So be sure to check out our website, WURDradio.com, or continue to listen. We're going to take a break and come back with our celebration as the world reopens. And we are doing our early bird membership drive. We'll be right back. And welcome back to this Friday edition of The Source. I'm Tiffany Bacon. Thank you so much. For joining me, we are broadcasting live from the Fresh Grocer here on Monument Road. We will be here until 1 o'clock. If you have time, stop by. Come say hello. If you check out the show every week, I would love, love, love to see you in person. Come say hello, shake a hand or bump an elbow, whatever you're comfortable with. We do have the wipes. We do have the hand sanitizer should you need it. Uh, come on by. We will be here until 1 o'clock. This is our early bird four-word membership drive. You have an opportunity today in person to become a member of Word, if you're not already a member. We have various membership level opportunities for you. We have the $5 digital only membership. You can do that. $5 a month makes you a digital only member. But the annual membership, which gets you all of, all of the above, digital and everything else, uh, that is a $75 membership. You can sign up for either or today. If you're unable to make it down here, that's all right. You can go to our website, go to wordradio.com forward slash early bird for more information. I gave you uh, uh, the website before, but I needed to give you that specific part, the forward slash early bird. If you go to our website, you can find out more about membership options. And I thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for checking us out for those who are watching via youtube and facebook live sorry if you were not able to hear me earlier hopefully you can hear me a little bit better now i appreciate you letting me know that you weren't able to hear me earlier um you can post your comments here if you are watching on facebook or youtube live tell us your word story how long have you been listening are you a member when did you become a member? Share your story. Why do you think word is important? Why do you think it's important to have black talk media in Philadelphia? Share your story. Uh, Mish Pugh says, good morning, word family. Now, good afternoon. Thank you for always keeping the listeners and community informed and providing diverse, thought-provoking content and resources. Thank you for your comment. Thank you for checking us out. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, and let's go to Lola's comment. Lola from uh, YouTube Live says, I am a member and I want to come up. Working remotely, I'm going to try. All right, Lola, if you can stop by, that would be amazing. Love to see you. I know you check us out. Uh, I know I see your comments on Friday. So if I can meet you in person. That would be great. So come on by. So we have someone who is joining us right now who is a supporter uh, of what we are doing here at Word and is representing Go to Know. She is going to tell us more about it. 
Carla, uh, Carla and Henry. I said I was going to get your name right, and I messed it up. I'm so sorry. Carla no and Henry from Go To Know. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Tiffany. No problem. Tell us about the Go To Know campaign. Well, Miss Sarah Lou Max Reese is a hard one to follow, and she spoke <laughs> of it. But it is about getting the word out and getting people screened for colorectal cancer. You know, black communities are impacted by colorectal cancer at usually high rates. We are more likely to get colorectal cancer and die from it than any other race. And it's heartbreaking because the screen, the prevention, is the cure. So, with Go To Know, we uh, are sending out, uh, with Word, Word is sending out Pick It, and we're working with the Colorectal Cancer Alliance, and we are doing everything we can to get people screened. Yeah. Just, this, just in May, it was changed, the, the recommended age for colorectal cancer screening was changed from 50 to 45. Mm. So please hear that, please hear that. If you do not have insurance, and you don't, and you, or you're too young to get your col, your colonoscopy. There is a phone number from Word. May I say it? Oh, sure. Please. It's eight seven seven four two 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 zero three zero. Call Word Radio, and you will receive a fit kit in the mail. You'll you'll do the sample. You'll do the test in the privacy of your own home. Send it to the lab. If there's any issues with it. You'll find out whether you're negative or, or if there's any issues. If there's any issues, one of our navigators will reach out to you. And if you have no insurance, help you find a way to get a low-cost or no-cost colonoscopy. Because, again, the prevention is the cure. Yeah. I can't stress that high enough. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I work for the Colorectal Cancer Alliance. I'm brand new. This is the last day of my sixth week. Awesome. And I am starting, I'm working on this campaign along with you folks yeah. and IBX and University of Pennsylvania and everybody that wants to work on it. Yeah. I'm building an alliance, a, a coalition, and I want posters in the windows of all black owned businesses. I want everybody to know this. Tell your cousins, your brothers, your sisters, everyone, especially, especially if they're between the ages of 45 and 50, because it's been found, I don't mean to keep going on, but no, it's been no. found that a lot of people, a large percentage of people are diagnosed at the age of 49, and it's just heartbreaking. Mm. It's just absolutely heartbreaking. And I know that the preparation for a colonoscopy is a lot. Two days of your life. And it's not overly pleasant. Yeah. However, it's much more pleasant than having colorectal cancer. Yeah. It's much more pleasant than leaving your family, your your spouse, your children, your parents, your siblings, your friends, yeah. leaving this community before your time. Yeah. It's much more doable than that. And I don't. I I I'm so passionate about it, which is why I took this job. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were all heartbroken last August when we heard of the death of Chadwick Boseman, who was not even 45. Nope. 43 years old. He was 43 when he passed away. So he had had it for four years. Yep. He had it for four, He was battling it for four years. So he was in his late 30s. Yes, he was. Um, so since the recommended age is even older than he was when he passed, uh, what is your suggestion? Because clearly it can happen it can. at any time. So, if you have a family history, talk to your doctor. You can get the you can get the exception so that your insurance will cover you for screening. Mm -hmm. Because it costs the insurance companies less for you to be screened than for them to pay for your treatment. Mm -hmm. If you're having symptoms, you know, people think they need to stop eating gluten. They think they need to do this. They think they're too stressed. And it might all be part of that. But there's a possibility that it's early colorectal cancer, which can be... If it's caught early mm. enough. So that's the suggestion. Talk to your doctor. If you don't have a doctor, call the Alliance. We are... Go to know. Go to know. Yeah. Go to the number. That, call the number. Go to Word Radio's website. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways. So many ways. If, you have, if you're a small business owner, let us know, and I will get you some materials to put in your window. We want to partner with you. Mm -hmm. I'm working on finding community partners. I'm working for finding coalition members because we've got to stop this. It, it's, it's, it's appalling. 90% preventable. And we, of wow. course, are number one people to die. Yeah, yeah. Talk about, for me, why it's important um, to support Word uh, outside of what you're doing with Go To Know campaign, which is amazing. But why is Word 
important to you? Well, that's very easy. We, word has been our voice for so long. Mm -hmm. And now, now people are starting to hear us. Mm -hmm. And word is going to let us know what's going on. It's going to give us a forum for conversation and discussion. Mm -hmm. And it's going to let us rise to where we're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. These disparities that exist, no longer necessary, you know? Mm. All these people that are saying Black Lives Matter, let's see, let's mm. see, and Word is gonna be able to tell us who Black Lives Matter to. Right. So we can support them, they can support us, and we can all grow together. Right. Awesome, awesome. I appreciate the work that you're doing. It is so very, very important. I need to ask you this, because I ask this of any guest that sits in the chair across from me or uh, joins the show virtually. How have the events of 2020 affected you personally? Oh my, well I'm single, I live alone, so I spent a lot of time on my own, and you know, I was, of course, as we all were, I was devastated when Brianna was killed, devastated. She came home from work, got into her pajamas and went to bed, and was woken by a fatal bullet. Aubrey went for a run, went for a run and was hunted down like an animal, and then George, and I thank them because their lives made people hear and see, you know? And I think without COVID, people would have been so busy with their lives mm -hmm. that they wouldn't have. Mm -hmm. But they gave so much for us to be able to rise. And I've done a lot of reflection myself. I've read books, Resma Menasca, my grandmother's hands. I just, I've read more than I ever have. I've listened more than I ever have. I took this job because mm -hmm. it's an organization that's really committed to deal with the disparities. Yeah. And I, like I said, I don't want to just hear that Black Lives Matter. I want to know it. See. I want to know it. I want to see it. I want to support organizations that feel it and want to change it. Right. Awesome. And that's how 2020 has affected me. Awesome. I, I thank cry. you so much for sharing. Thank you so much thank for being Thank you for here. having me. Thank and you for the work. Um, and please share again the number for people to call and website for people to access so they can know as well. Yes. You can call for more information at Word, 877-422-2030. You can go to Word's website, which is wordradio.com, but I know you all know that. Yes. You could go to the Colorectal Cancer Alliance.org or ccalliance.org. And you know what? I'll even give my email address if that's okay. That is fine. If you're a small business and you want to put materials on your table or in your window, please send me an email. It's C Henry, C H E N R Y, at C C Alliance, C C A L L I A N C E dot org. Please call, and I will bring you information. And if you're interested in volunteering, getting out in the community and helping, let me know. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Carla and Thank Henry. you, Miss Tiffany. Thank I you for all you do. No problem. Thank you. Hey, listen, we have some celebrities in the building. Our very own Solomon Jones is here along with other team members. And, of course, you can join us as well. We are broadcasting live from the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. We would love you to join us. We will be here only until 1 p.m., so that gives you a little over a half an hour to join us in person. Stick around. We'll be right back after this. And Welcome back. Welcome back. It's the Friday edition of The Source. I'm Tiffany Bacon. We are broadcasting live for the first time in over a year as the city is officially reopened for business. We are out in the community where we love to be, and we would love to have you be here. If you can get here within the next 20 minutes or so, it would be great to see your face. We are here for our annual Early Bird Forward membership special. You can pick up a membership today. If you are not a Word member, you can become a member today. If you are a member, you can renew your membership today. We have wonderful people at the table who are ready to greet and serve you. So stop by. We're here at the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road 4160 Monument Road to be exact. There is plenty of parking if you are driving. Uh, bus stops right outside if you are taking the bus. We would love to see you. And if it is on uh, your to-do list to do some shopping, why not shop here today and say hello to the Word family because we are out here strong. So I want to say hello right now uh, to the person who's helping to make this live broadcast possible, Jeff Brown. 
of Brown's Family Markets. Owner, operator, welcome. Thank you so much. Good, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. Yes, thank you for being here. Tell us why uh, Word is important to you. We're, we're getting these testimonials from our listeners and, of course, other Word team members. Well, why is, is Word important to you? Well, well, the uh, Lomax family and my family have gone back for many generations. And uh, I remember before before the Lomax family, but uh, I feel that, that people need a way to communicate, express their concerns, to be heard. And Word makes that happen for the black community. And if we didn't have Word, people wouldn't be able to have that opportunity. So I really appreciate Word's work. It really matters to me, and I'm glad to be you know, an extended part of the word family. Yeah, yeah, we appreciate it. Uh, I ask this of anybody who sits in the chair or joins me virtually, uh, the events of 2020 and how it affected you. How did it affect you personally, and how did it change your outlook on all that you do with the markets in the community? You know, uh, most people had to close. Uh, we had to stay open because people had to eat. And we were really focused on that job because you remember during that year it was difficult to get merchandise and I was going back to the old days, scrambling around, finding trailers of chickens and paper towels and, and wipes. And I, I was really so so focused on taking care of my customers, I didn't think much about it. I was just focused on our work. And, of course, we, we did go to work every day, so we weren't stuck at home, which I think when you're stuck at home, it's a, it's a little bit of a downer not to socialize. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we just focused on our work. I think in life... If you think too much about your troubles, it gets you down. And I like to just focus on doing good and moving forward. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and since things are reopening, how do you feel about that? Some people have talked about the uh, anxiety with that and more people being out. And you were not used to that many people being around. How does that sit with you? Well, I'm sitting here in the, in the, um, the Fresh Grocer of Monument, and it is packed with the word lovers. And uh, it's exciting to be here um, with people that just love what you do at Word. And I have to tell you, the socialization, I'm seeing people I haven't seen in a year, year and a half, and it's a lot of fun. But each time you approach a person, you're not really sure. Did they be, are they vaccinated or are they not? And, and what is the right gestures? Like, do we shake hands? Do we hug like we used to? And everybody's different. So it does feel a little awkward, like you're not quite sure where everybody is. But um, it will take time. But we've been told we we could die if we leave our homes. Mm. That's what the government told us. Now it's letting up and we're getting back out. And, you know, we remember everything we were told. So it is a little double-edged sword. Mm. Excited to be with people and a little nervous still. Yeah, yeah. Talk about some of the things you have coming up in terms of uh, you're always invested in the community and invested with uh, word and other black media organizations to connect to the community. What are some of the things you have coming up now that we are doing more in-person events? Yeah, well, I'm excited to do my first march in a long time for Juneteenth, and I'm going to be out. I think we're starting at the Shoprite of Parkside, mm-hmm. and uh, we want to see Juneteenth be a national holiday, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm, I'm excited to be part of that effort because I feel if, if we don't keep track of our history, if we don't remember our history, if we don't learn by our history, we're going to make the same mistakes we made before. Mm-hmm. And so I'm excited to be part of a movement, you know, to let's make Juneteenth a national holiday and let's have it, let's have its origins of the celebration right here in Philadelphia, especially in West Philadelphia. Fantastic. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Jeff Brown, owner and operator of Brown's Family Market. Thank you, my entire word family. I always love you and appreciate you. Thank you so much for stopping by. We appreciate it. Hey, if you're just tuning in, it is the Friday edition of The Source. I'm Tiffany Bacon. We are on location today, y'all. We are here at the Monument Road uh, Fresh Grocer. Come on by if you can. If you are nearby, we would love for you to join us in person. If not, you can always, always uh, post your comments on our Facebook page. I can see them and we can relay them to the word audience, those who are listening to us on the radio. Uh, do we have, uh, let's see, I know we have Solomon Jones around here. He is going to speak with us, our fearless host in the morning. Solomon Jones is joining us. Hey, so- oh, he's getting himself all, all, all ready. <laughs> he's getting himself ready to speak with us on the mic. Uh, I'm so sorry for the um, 
for the Facebook and YouTube viewers. I'm going to try and adjust this so you can see Solomon because my other camera died on me. So now you can see Solomon <laughs> without my thumb in the way. <laughs> There's Solomon for the Facebook live viewers. Hey, Solomon, how you feeling? Hey, Tiff, how you doing? I'm breathing on schedule. You know how I, I know, do. that's right. All right, so we are out here for the first time in a year. How does it feel for you to be not in your home broadcasting for the first time in a minute? It feels great. It feels great to see the listeners, mm -hmm. uh, to talk to them. People are then bought their books for me to sign and yes. you know just um just wonderful to see our listeners man i miss them um and we are family we're family at word and so seeing the listeners have an opportunity to talk with them interact with them you know i'm vaccinated so i'm getting a little you know three feet at least three feet <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> um so so we uh i'm enjoying it i really am that's awesome that's yeah. awesome Outside of you being a Word team member, why is Word impor important to you? Word is important because it's the voice of the black community. Mm -hmm. um, it is the voice of our people. And so without Word, we would not have the opportunity to interact live um, in a way that allows us to kind of talk through and sift through the things that, that affect our community. Mm -hmm. um, no other radio station does that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And so for us to be able to do that at Word, I think, gives us the opportunity to, um, to strategize, to grieve, to celebrate, um, to, to be joyful, to do all of these things together and in real time. There's no other place that you can do that other than Word Radio. So it is critically important to us. And I think that's what makes us as as tight and as vital and, and as important as we are. Yeah, I love that. Uh, very, very important. And there's so much that we offer. It is so much that we offer to the community on yeah. a daily basis. So I got to ask you, because I ask everybody else, 2020 was a doozy for so many reasons. Right. How did it affect you personally? And did it change how you approach broadcasting? Well, I got COVID in mm -hmm. October of 2020 and was locked in my bedroom for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Um did not come out because I didn't want to give it to my family and I broadcasted from my bedroom I think that it gave me an appreciation for what we do and for how important it is because some days you know I was having I was struggling and uh, but but I knew that it was important for the audience to understand that this thing was not a death sentence because we all knew somebody who died yeah. from this thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I thought it was important to 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 work through that with the audience um, to keep them calm and and really to keep myself grounded uh, mm -hmm. in what I do. This is what I do every day. This is what I love every day. And to be able to kind of go through a struggle with the audience, I think brought us closer. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. If you have one wish before I let you go, if you have one wish for the upcoming year as things reopen, as we get back to, and I don't like to say normal because we really don't want things to go back to the way it was prior to the pandemic for so many. I know that's right. <laughs> for so many reasons. Yeah. Um, but if you had one wish for the upcoming year, what would that be? Black unity. Mm. Black unity. Because what I've learned is that when we work together, we can accomplish anything. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it doesn't matter what other people think, what other people do, how other people feel. If we unify mm -hmm. and work together, um, there's nothing we can't achieve. And so that's that's the one thing I would wish for us. If we had black unity, guess what? The murder rate drops. Mm. If we have black unity, our financial fortunes rise. Mm. If we have black unity, then gentrification doesn't push us completely out of our communities. If we have black unity, we could take over this city, this country, this world, if we have black unity. Um, and so that's, that's the one thing that I would wish for for our people is unity for us to come together in 2021. I love it. Yeah. Absolutely love it. What you got coming up? I know things are happening. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> two of my books are being reissued um, this year. Cream and Payback are being reissued. And then in, um, in November, I have a new book coming out 
uh, with Beacon Press called 10 Lives, 10 Demands, Life and Death Stories and a Black Activist Blueprint mm. for Racial Justice. Mm. Right? So um, I'm excited about that. It's my first serious nonfiction book. Wow. And it is about moving us forward uh, in our movement because power can seize nothing without a demand. It never has and it never will. Mm -hmm. Frederick Douglass was right then and he's right now. Um, and so we have listed some demands uh, based on the things that have happened in, in specific cases uh, with black people in the criminal justice system and beyond. And so I'm so excited about that book. Uh, Word is going to be intimately involved with it and we are uh, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, well, I'm super excited for you. Thank you. Thank you for all that you do on air every day. And, of course, I wish you all the best with the books. Thanks, Tiff. Appreciate you, that. Authorbomb.com. Appreciate you. <laughs> I appreciate you. Solomon Jones, y'all. The Word family is out here. We're at the Fresh Grocer on Monument Road. Come on by. You know there's a parking lot. If you're driving, you can park right in the parking lot and come on out and join us. We would love, 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 love to see you. Uh, big shout out to the folks who are checking us out on Facebook and YouTube Live. Thank you for you all, Lucy. Hey, Lucy. Good to see you. Appreciate your presence as always. Um, yes, don't forget about the things that we have coming up. You heard several of the guests today talk about our Juneteenth celebration. The Freedom Day March happens at 9.30 a.m. 52nd in Haverford. This is next Saturday, Juneteenth. There will be many Juneteenth celebrations in Philadelphia. Find one. Hopefully one of ours is one of the ones you will go to. Um, tell your children about it. Have them understand what Juneteenth is all about. Some folks had never even heard of Juneteenth prior to 2020. Don't let that continue into 2021, 2022. Share the information with your children. Share the information with your family members, those who don't even know what Juneteenth is all about. Make sure that they know. Our celebration, again, will have art in the park at Malcolm X Park at 12 noon next Saturday. The live broadcast is being hosted by our very own Michael Cord. So make sure you tune in to Michael Cord next Saturday, and he will talk a lot more. Uh, hey, Miss Diva. We will talk a lot more uh, about that. When we come back, we're going to take a break, but we are continuing our live broadcast. We have another team member from Word who's going to talk about her experience, her um, reasons for supporting Word, not just because she's a team member, but the reasons why she really supports Black Talk Media. We'll speak with her and more when we come back after this. Sincerely, Sarita Diva, it is your first time out at a broadcast in over a year. How does it feel? It's like I, I'm experiencing a bunch of emotions. Yeah, um, It's overwhelming because this is the first time um, that we've been able to come together like this in, in so long. Yeah. And it is like a family reunion. You know what I mean? Like, I got to see, shout out to Carlos, Brother Tyrone, mm -hmm. Miss Cynthia, like so many folks that you hear every day calling in our word family to see them again in person, to know that, you know, we, we managed to survive this thing, yeah. you know, and to, to really carry each other through this. It's just, it's beautiful. Yeah. And then y'all know, I didn't already share, I said six feet. Listen, I'm going to be real with you. You're not getting six feet. Y'all showed up and showed yeah. out. So yeah. I appreciate the fact that even with that, folks are, you know, wearing their masks. I see the hand sanitizer out Listen. and folks, you know doing the best that we can, but still enjoying this moment of being together. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the, the feeling here is incredible. And yeah. like I was mentioning before, you know, if, if you have developed social anxiety yeah. during this time, it's, it's, it's real and we mm -hmm. understand. Yeah. But it is something about that, wow, Yeah. I really miss this. I really miss being mm -hmm. around people. I miss chatting face yeah. to face. It's an energy thing. Yeah. It's, it, it, it is an exchange of energy. And to that point around social anxiety, um, I think it's important that we honor that the fact that folks are feeling that, right? Yeah. So if you yeah, see yeah. someone 
kind of step back or step aside so that they can gather themselves or whatever else the case may be. Honor that moment, yeah. you know. To, don't go into the space. Let them <laughs> let them get themselves together uh, and then re-enter. I mean, that's just something where we're going to have to continue to practice that compassion that I think a lot of us tapped into a lot more deeply throughout the pandemic. Mm-hmm. We got to make sure we carry that into this reopening, this reemergence, um, and really being empathetic and mindful of how this is affecting all of us. So, absolutely, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Talk to us about Word outside of being a team member. Mm-hmm. Why is Word important to you? I think the pandemic was a, a prime example of why Word is needed, right? Um, we, we went through the pandemic, or are still going through the pandemic, y'all, because it's still real. Yep. Um, we, we've experienced social and civil unrest, yep. right? Racial injustice, all of these things. And throughout each of those occurrences, continued occurrences, gun violence, you name it, um, Word has been telling those stories. We've been responsible for making sure that we're amplifying our voices, that we are speaking truth to power, um, that we are represented not only in in the media, um, but at tables that, you know, some of our our listeners may not necessarily sit at, but we have access to. And so I think that's really been our role. And that's why Word is important. And I really just want to say thank you to all of the four Word members who make our work possible because Absolutely. you know where else you gonna find a word out in philly like this in the state of pennsylvania we're the only black owned and operated radio station in pennsylvania we're only one of few in the nation um and so we we have to protect this thing it is ours um Absolutely. so yeah it, it means a lot to me just outside of you know being a part of the team and making sure that we show up every day committed to serving our our community absolutely sincerely serena <laughs> thank you for Love stopping y'all. by Love you too. Appreciate you. Oh, man, the the, the word love continues, y'all. The word love continues. We have another team member who's about to sit down and join us for a little conversation. Again, don't forget, you can sign up for your membership uh, either online or in person. If you're in the vicinity, come on by before 1 p.m. and you can sign up and become a member of Word Today. We have another team member who is joining us right now. You can hear her Saturdays at 7 a.m. Vicki Leach is Thank joining you. us. Thank you so much, Tiffany Bacon. Hey. Breathing on schedule. Yes, ma'am. That's what you said. Yes, ma'am. Breathing right. on schedule. It's been forever. Oh. I have heard you. Oh. You were a little person <laughs> making sure that you let the world know you're here. Yeah. And we are so happy. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me sit in front of you. Oh. It's no. my joy. Thank you. It thank is my you. honor to have you sit thank here. Thank you so much. Let's start with how you managed through the year 2020. How was that for you as a person and how you approached the mic through that 2020 year? 2020 has been something that I could never have imagined. Mm. It's almost like pieces of my life stopped and um, I had to keep going and that's difficult to maneuver I believe any place but I didn't I thought that was something and then we turned into the the year changed and it's 2021 and it went crazy so many people that I have so much love and respect for we're caught up in all the what's going on. So I'm going, if you don't mind, I'm going to um, speed chase to uh, I'm fully vaccinated and I'm ready to get back into it, yes. but I'm cautious yeah. and uh, hopeful. I know that's right. Prayerful and faithful, yeah. knowing that God has us and He has us for a reason, enduring all of this. It's good stuff. Amen. We just need to be kinder. Whoo, you said a word and a half. Miss Vicki Leach, you said a word and a half. Tell us really quick before we let you go, why are stations like Word? Why is Word important? Because when I was growing up, I listened to the radio all the time. And I felt like I knew more than I did because people were talking stuff and I could see it and I, it's just important to kind of know where people are, what people are doing. 
and because of all of you yeah. who want to help everybody to be better. Yeah. You've done that for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I Thank truly you. appreciate it. I enjoy you. Oh, I Thank enjoy you. you as well. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Vicki Thank Leach. You. Thank yes. you for having me. No problem. It's my joy. Thank you okay. so much. Thank oh, my you. goodness. The, listen. Listen, Linda. You're not listening. You're not listening, Linda. It is so much love in this room right now. It is such a beautiful thing. I am truly appreciative of all of the energy that uh, is surrounding this table right now. I'm appreciative of, uh, and there's a picture happening, and I'm like, oh. It's okay. <laughs> it's all this. I, you know, I, if I stand up, y'all still can't see me. <laughs> I'm too short. <laughs> but uh, it, it's so much love in this room right now, and I and I truly they got me appreciate talking it. Over here. Uh, talking here. Talking here. I got you. You already know this voice. I don't even need to introduce this voice. Uh, he he is awesome. He he came back to the family in this in this past year. And he is here at the table with us right now. Nick Taliaferro joining us as we go into this forward motion of early membership into this world of reopening yeah. out in the community. Hey, Nick. Tiffany, it's always good seeing you. It uh, is always good. I remember I met Tiffany when she was 12 years old. Lies and apple pies. Okay, 13. <laughs> but, but, uh, <laughs> yes, I was on the street panhandling at the corner and... and, and uh, Sarah Lomax Reese drove by and said, you've fallen on hard times since you left us, haven't you? And I said, yes, Sarah, take me back. Take me back. And so she dragged me off the street. I regret it, I regret <laughs> it so much. Yes. I regret it. But, oh, my God. But I've got eight by ten glosses of her that will, that will not allow. And so I have to go now? Okay. No, we got to wrap it up. I have to go. I've just been fired. No, okay. Can you say why? I hope you enjoyed my last show. Yes. This is the last. I have, what, two minutes? Do I have two minutes? We have no minutes. No minutes. We have no minutes. Nick, thank you so much. You're very welcome, Tiff. <laughs> we are out of time. The broadcast is concluding, but uh, the, the love for Word is not. The membership special, Early Bird membership special, continues until Juneteenth. You can take advantage of our membership options until that time. Please check out our website at wurdradio.com forward slash early bird. That is it for the broadcast today. Much love going out to the whole URD crew, especially to Miss Kayla J, uh, Eric Nixon, Troy Wilmore, everyone that put this together. Thank you all so very much. Have a peaceful, positive, and productive day. We will catch you next time. Brother Shamari is next.